first step is to determine image size. Then we are going to expand the canvas by 0.25 inches to add adequate bleed. Next, I can take my um, magic eraser, click the added area, and oh, it made it transparent. What was our problem? We had our tolerance was too high. If I drop my tolerance down to 5, then click on the area, it makes the added area transparent. I can then check on my magic wand, select the transparent area, then I want to slightly expand it by 3 pixels. Then I can hit Generative Fill and just hit Generate. It will then determine the area uh, that it needs to fill in to make it match the original document. Voila. Over here on the right, we can select different variations because occasionally you will have some odd things and we want to make sure that we have it correct. Then I flatten my image and now my new image size is 5.25 by 7.25, uh, a 5 by 7 with full bleed. Now sometimes it won't work, especially to add uh, the area, especially if you have a lot of white in the background. So again, I'm going to change my canvas size. I'm going to add the 0.25 to both uh, height and width. Only this time, I'm going to take my rectangular marquee, and I'm just going to, oh, I'm sorry, I had to make it transparent. But then I'm just going to simply take my rectangular marquee, take my marching ants around the general area, and fill it in and repeat on each side. This will work if you have an area, like I said, that has a white, mostly white background, and you really don't even need to fill that area in, but um, we want to be able to make a good selection. And lastly, once we've got it all set, we've checked everything, then we can flatten the image and we have our full bleed uh, document ready to print. Next, we can also use this feature when somebody wants something resized. So in this case, we have an 8.5 by 11 that the customer sent us but we want a five by seven. Now, how am I gonna make that five by seven if I make it five inches wide? It's a little over six inches tall. So that leaves us with quite a gap. Well, now we can do the same thing, only we're gonna change this to our finished size for our canvas size, in which case we want five and a quarter for our bleed and seven and a quarter for our additional area plus bleed. Now, we'll simply select the area that we want to fill using our magic wand tool. We'll expand our canvas by three pixels. Hit generate. And it's going to do a pretty amazing job of filling in the blank. 
Now here's a good example. If you look over on the left on our first selection, there's an artifact right there. So I don't necessarily want to use that one, so I'll pick the next one. Check one more. If I didn't happen to see any of them that looked very good, I can hit generate again and it will make three additional selections. But in this case, I like the finished product. I've now resized successfully the image to a 5x7 with bleed and solved the customer's problem and a problem for us as well.